Okay, this is Brad with uh, Brad Tech Online, and uh, I'm doing a review of Avir Antivir. Um, my last review was of AVG, and it was completely and utterly destroyed by this list of zero-day malware attacks from uh, yesterday and yesterday, or from today and yesterday, I'm sorry. And uh, one of these right here, well, uh, had has got cleaned off. Um, actually went in and disabled uh, AVG and s stopped it from protecting the system. Um, if you recall, I have reviewed uh, Spower Doctor with antivirus today. It did good. Uh, Nod32, perfect score. Uh, did great. Didn't get anything on there. Malwarebytes didn't find a single thing left behind. Um, and Viper by Sunbelt Software, which did very good also. And then uh, I started doing the free product line, and my first free product was AVG. Um, it was the most popular one here a while back, and it's still very popular and used by a lot of people today. Um, but uh, this is probably, in my opinion, the best free product out there uh, from what I hear from other people and what I see from maybe a comparatives test, VB100 awards, and uh, all of that. So... I and also, when I installed this, I set it up to detect against everything, even little silly uh, jokes. I get it on strict protection, everything maxed out for this product, just like I've done all the rest of them. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and get started here. And this is going to be a bot. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we are going to move to quarantine. Detected the first one, which AVG was doing this good. Once again, I'll remind you that uh, even though it detects some of the stuff, uh, Vera is letting it download and actually let that one run possibly what I'll do with this right here uh, not 32 would block it from even downloading I believe I'll download this onto the computer tell it to run not sure what's going on there Okay. Oh, it looks like Avira did detect that one before. Well, might be the same file I just tried, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just let it do what it's trying to want and recommending to do. Okay. And my machine is restarting on its own. I'm going to pause right quick. This didn't happen on this part of the play, part of the uh, test with any of the, with not 32 or Spyware Doctor. It seems all these products starting with Viper have just randomly started rebooting my machine uh, without any kind of user intervention or notification. Okay, we're back. Uh, Avira had just restarted my machine, which I don't mind, I guess. I don't mind, but I'm sure somebody in a uh, work environment would have mowed mine whenever all their they've got redirected, and uh, have work open. Uh oh, Avira is letting Antivirus Pro 2010 a new zero day hit uh, build a bit by, and. Found a DLL file with it, an HTML layout for it. Found another uh, CPL file, it's probably a configuration file for it, which may render it from being able to start up. Let's investigate further. Still, you know, it let it let it install in the machine some stuff. The nod just blocked it completely. Keep referring to Nod because it pretty much 
was perfect, so I'm comparing it. It does the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Just test out EXE, probably some guy testing. Found that. That's what I want to see. See, before it even starts to let you save as, it denies access. Well, there. Okay. We're almost through with the zero day drop box here. That has been the dead link that worked once today and has been dead in all my other reviews so far. Here's a bad boy. I give a very lot of credit for the Texas for right now. This is the one that has like PAV, everything. Great. There we go. I need to delete that sucker. Delete. Okay. This has been kind of a slow download all day for this variant. It's still up. Okay, there we go. A good deal. All right. Well, we've went through all the active ones. Um, I'm going to pause, and then we'll do a uh, retroactive test. I'll unzip these bad boys right here, and uh, we'll start off from there in part two.